What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to West Newton Farm by NM Modding. This map is based in East Ayrshire, Scotland, which is being made for all platforms, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, and Mac. This map is based off of NM Modding's uncle's real life farm and the surrounding area in Ayrshire, Scotland with a variety of field sizes. This map includes all the Farming Simulator 19 features you have come accustomed to seeing custom models made off of real life models by NM Modding and MJ Modding both alike. Full season support with grazing, custom lighting, animated objects, custom soil textures, distance, grass, and ground textures. Four different farms. We also have three cow pastures, three sheep pastures, one pig pen, one horse stable, and one chicken coop as well. Additional grain is needed for cows and sheep, courtesy of Nathan, the creator of Meadow Grove Farm. That's a feature you're going to see on Meadow Grove as well. Two selling points, BGA plant, dairy, sawmill, and multiple egg sale points. You have 115 fields, all varying sizes, with missions on 100 of them. That's insane. You also have custom transport missions and field missions, custom traffic from Dutch modding, real DEM based in Ayrshire, and special thanks goes to Bullet Bill and Oxygen David for their help on this map as well. And in modding says he hopes we enjoy the map, and I thank him very, very much for this opportunity to do a first look. If you want to check in and modding out on Facebook, I will have that link below so you can stay up to date with everything happening with this awesome map. But we're gonna go around and I'm gonna show you everything. This is a gorgeous map. I absolutely love it. It's very easy to navigate. It's pretty simple to get from point A to point B, but it feels lived in and it is super massive. Absolutely massive. This is your main farm right here. This has, uh, well, we have like three cow pastures around here. There's one in front of you right here. There's another one up to the left. We're gonna be covering all of that first. Let's take a look at the PDA. Now, I do own everything. We're not going to be talking about New Farmer or anything like that today. We're just going to be going over kind of where stuff is on the map and the features of that. So, if we go all the way down in, you can see right here we have a cow pasture and we have chickens around here as well. We also have another cow pasture to our right and a third to the left. Oh, yeah. They are everywhere, and I absolutely love it. If we go just north of that, ooh, <laughs> wow, made everything change colors, didn't we? If we go north of that, we get a couple more things up here. We get not one, but two sheep pastures up here, which is really, really cool. You also have a cell point right there, and then over here, you got another place, and we have our farm silo. This is the one farm silo on the map. You see it is up here to the north, pretty close by your main farm though so you don't have to go very far to get to that if we move our way around you can see multiple purchase areas or multiple sale areas for crops and all kinds of stuff you got a spinnery you also have a, a really nice animal dealer moving down here to the bottom we have our pig enclosure um, we also have our shop sawmill co-op more sell points through here we have a couple different sell points down here grain and dairy as well as a biogas plant it's a decent sized biogas plant I'm, I was actually really impressed and then we have some more things around here another sheep pasture oh yeah we got a third one and then making our way forward you have your uh loudon lodge and then moving a little bit further north of that you have horses oh yeah horses are built into the map all animals are built into the map as a matter of fact so how's about this let's just start right here with our main farm starting with how the map places you down it's going to be right here in front of your sleep trigger it's going to be this darker stone house right here that is going to be your sleep trigger right there if we make our way around here to the left this is going to be our farm right here so you can kind of open up walk through if you like you can do all that kind of thing i prefer just kind of hop and walk around you can do this as well multiple ways to get back here this is where one of your cow pastures is going to be right here you can buy up to 500 different cows right here um and they're going to be all just kind of hanging out food and all that good stuff's going to be going right in here very easy to navigate slurry of course is going to pop right there we have a bunch of different custom sheds as well so you see we've got a custom shed here never seen anything like this before it's super cool what do you guys think about this? This is neat. I'm really enjoying You guys know I love a bunch of sheds. So <laughs> I think the last map tour I did was just basically me going around opening doors. <laughs> You've got this bad boy right here. If we go in, you can see fill level chaff, 0%. So this is going to be a bunker that you can use. So that is cool. You have a, an area down here as well under where the cows are. You can store some smaller equipment, maybe even kind of a vehicle, something like that, that kind of thing. 
easy to get from point A to point B around here. Just a bunch of gates and stuff like that. Uh, you have pathways all over the place. Really, really cool. If we make our way back through here and we go straight, up here is going to be where our little workshop is. This is going to be where we take care of everything. So we're going to open this bad boy up. Yeah. What do you guys think about that fire as well? I am digging that. That is so cool. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. At least not in 19. Here's where you're going to work on your uh, equipment. You've got a door here. Walk around. Good to go. And then, of course, if you want to get out, boop, right there. There you go. So that's how you get in and out right there. As far as this farm goes, though, that's pretty much it. Of course, we do have another area up in here. There's multiple areas all over the place with this farm right here. It's really, really cool. Really awesome to see that. Now, if we make our way to right here. So we're just going down this road. Just going to visit the cow pasture. We have another cow pasture here. This is going to hold 150 cows. And because this is full season support ready, I'm going to assume that this field right here is for your uh, beef cattle or for just kind of hanging on to everybody for a little while. Of course, you do have your water right here. Food's going to go over there in the middle. So we've got all that. We kind of know what's going on there. That is one. But if we come down the road and we make our way up here, we have another cow pasture very same thing here as a matter of fact this is going to hold the same amount 150 cows you can see right here you have your water trough and then your food we make our way over the hill is going to go right there in the middle perfect now if we keep going straight you probably saw right up there is a building so how's about we transport there this is going to be your farm silo so you're going to empty out from this uh, spout right there you're going to dump right there. And this is a very nice area. You've got some uh, some cool buildings here, some older buildings. They look lived in. They look used. It's not brand new. I like that. I really like that. It gives the map character, and it kind of makes you feel like you're part of it, if that makes any sense to you guys. So you can see, walking around here, you've got a really nice area. You can get through here, although I'm not sure I'd want to take a tractor through there. But that's that one. We also have some areas up there. You see here, the Altenburn Farm Barn. So I'm going to just transport over here to the sheep pasture. This is going to be one of three. This holds 500 sheep. Goodness gracious. 500 sheep in that one right there. Your wool is going to spawn right here. We go around. We do have some more buildings here. We've got a shed right here. This is a really nice shed. And if we look in there, you've got another place to work on your equipment. So you could buy a couple different farms. Maybe you can run in uh, multiplayer. These are going to be extremely handy to have places like this. Boom. And there you go. I like that. I like that a whole lot. Like a, a whole, whole lot. We do have lights as well. So you have these really, really good looking lights. You've probably seen those on a few maps already. Hey, we got them here too. Again, another shed right here that you can put stuff in. We do have another light as well. This one only has one entrance and exit, so it is what it is. See what you see. And then we get another sheep pen right here. 500 more sheep. <laughs> totally like a thousand sheep so far. There's where your food's going to be. Your water trough's going to be up there. So cool, man. So cool. That is going to be this farm right here. Now, what if we make our way around so we've seen this area mainly you've just got a bunch of fields and that kind of thing around you can see some things are purchased in one some things are purchased in twos which just kind of is whatever you buy so you're buying in kind of smaller chunks versus these larger areas but i like that i actually really prefer that let's go check out the spinnery let's do that down here if we plop in you're going to come in from this road right here this is going to be your spinnery and your animal dealer on top of that. So all your spinnery stuff is going to be done up here. Look at that. It looks so good. And then this area, I am, I'm kind of infatuated with this area because it looks so good. And I know that we've got, you know, stationary animals. And there's a lot of you guys don't like stationary animals, but I like that these are also the models that we have in game. These aren't just random cow models that were grabbed. These are actual, like, the cow models that we have in game. <laughs> They're just not moving. Sorry. <laughs> Had to. So that is, we jump out of here, your animal dealer. Very cool there. We jump over here. 
that is it. There's only one way in, there's only one way out. So make sure you know exactly where it is. If we make our way down, oh, we also have a uh, logging area right here. Very cheap as well, about $400,000 for that. Come down and we are going to make our way to this farm right here. We are going to make our way to the pig farm. This might be one of my favorite farms on the entire map. I don't know why. It just is what it is. You're going to come in from a small road right here that you kind of have to like zigzag in and out of your way. It's not too bad, but it is cool. Again, another place to work on vehicles. You can see uh, right here, we've got uh, broken parts from the old tractors that we have once <clears throat> uh, broke. <laughs> come through here, manure, slurry, piggy, piggy, piggies. How many can we have? You guessed it, 500 pigs. Come through here, you got your food, you've got your water, you have everything that you need. I like this. Another thing that I really like are the fences. You can see like right through here, nice and straight, looks good. And then you get to here and it's a little bit this way, a little bit that way. And this is done on purpose. It's to make it look like, oh, you know, DJ accidentally ran into the, you know, a, or a pig tried to get in here. DJ ran into this one with a combine, <laughs> that kind of thing. It is so cool because it's not perfect. It's not cookie cutter. As like I said, it's lived in. This map feels lived in and you have undulating terrain pretty much everywhere. You're not going to find a spot that's just flat. So if that's something that you don't like, um, just consider that before coming in. But I dig it. I really dig it. It makes you work for it. If you see these fields, these, these are not going to be completely worker friendly. These are going to be fields that you have to work. You got to get in here and, and do your work. <laughs> that's not going to work well for me, but <laughs> off screen, this is amazing. I love that. Boom, there you go. Now, what if we go out from here, right? We got our co-op, sawmill, and shop area. Let's check this out, how's about that? So we do have a New Holland shop right here. Get another place where you come in, work on your vehicles, do that kind of thing. And your sawmill. You have your sawmill here as well. I think that's really cool, I like that. Boom, there you go. Come through here, got another sell point. It's just, it's like a... <sighs> A, a, a thing of all tricks, I guess. <laughs> can we come in here? Of course we can. I don't even know why I guessed. Come through here. Get what you need. Uh, what do we need? We need a... Uh, yeah, we need a Mahindra. Boom. We got the Mahindra. Where is our Mahindra? I'm going to put it right outside. That's where all your vehicles are going to spawn when they are ready. Very cool. Very cool. And um, yeah, be careful. Don't, don't go too fast. Can, yo. I gotta do this real quick. Can we get it? <laughs> Let's go. You're about to see this. So as far as from around here, there's really not a whole lot going on. Oh, yep. I missed it. We're gonna have to go back, aren't we? Let's bring everything up so I can actually see what's going on. All right. It says the speed limit's 30. Can we get a speeding ticket? Come on, DJ. You can do it, man. You can do it. Ah, no ticket. <laughs> Nonetheless, we're going to go ahead and plop this bad boy right there and turn the HUD back off. So, we <laughs> had to try. We're going to go all the way down this road down to here. This is going to be Ayrshire Dairy and Ayrshire's Finest Grain. Boom. This is where you're going to sell your milk. And then this is where you're going to sell your finest grain. Perfect. Just like that. Uh, just sell point, but it is nice. And you've got a gate that opens automatically when you get close. I like that. That's cool. Sometimes it opens with the door. <laughs> Here are the uh, vehicles. I think that's cool. Do it again. Yes. <laughs> Bigger vehicle. Can we get a dope it all the way? Yes. It's all been all the way. All right. <laughs> Enough of that. Very cool area around here. And then we make our way around. We've got the biogas plant. Also, you may be thinking to yourself, DJ, this is a big map. Yep. It's a huge map. Plays like a small map. Um, but you're going to get lost. I was actually talking to NM Modding. He's like, dude, I get lost on that thing all the time. And I made it. <laughs> It's awesome. You've got two silage bunkers right here. Do whatever you want through there. Around here, you've got all the stuff that you're used to. This is where you're going to use your digest or your digester. You're going to put everything down in there. Um, it is lower to the ground. I like that. I think that is a great addition. Thank you, thank you, thank you for putting that in. Of course, you have some really nice tanks all around. It's just a good look at BGA. I think this is extremely appropriate for what you would see in this area anyway. It's not crazy big. It's not this massive 
plant. It's just a small place where you think like maybe like one dude works <laughs> and he's in here the whole time. Something like that. What is this? I love biogas. That's great. I love that. Now, if we make our way north from here, we get Woodhead Cottage and we have, you guessed it, our third sheep pasture. Ba-boom, baby. Let's, uh, let's, let's pop right here. This is going to be one of our egg cell points. I like this. It's like you're bringing somebody eggs. You're delivering eggs to somebody. That's how I like that. I think it's really cool. And then here, you have our third sheep farm. Now, that's the only thing on this farm, so just keep that in mind. But you got some more custom buildings here, uh, custom areas, move our way around. You need to work on your vehicle, because you can. Look at this. It even looks like, look at, it's, it's like a shop in here. That's so cool, man. And then we make our way down around. We're just going to walk around and I'll show you guys the animal last. Boom. More buildings right here. Open it up. Open it up. Got a really, really big area on the inside. Very cool. And then we have one more building right here. Boop. There you go. Cool, huh? I think it's cool. This is going to be your sheep area. So you're going to feed them right here. It, again, it looks lived in. It looks, you know, this, the concrete, it looks kind of broken and cracked. You've got metal poles right here to keep your sheep in, but you've hit it one too many times with your tractor. I can, I can, I can, you know, I can relate. Your sheep right here, 500, of course. So total of 1,500 sheep on the entire map. Yeah, good luck. You're going to be getting more wool than you could have ever imagined. And you will need to come in here to give them water as well which I like. I like having to actually interact with the animals and getting close to them. I think that's really cool. But uh, there you go. We also have one more spot. Can't forget about this. Check this out. In here, you've got areas you can put, uh, put well, put it wherever you want. There is no silo down here. So if you want to uh, do a little bit of role play and stack up, maybe you've got some, some wheat, maybe you've got some potatoes or sugar beets, stack those in here and you're going to be good to go. Boom. So there's that. And then we literally only have this guy right here, another cell point, one other kind of farm type area for you. Your horses right here. You can do eight horses in their pen is going to be food, water, straw goes in there as well. And outside of that, we've got a nice area. So you've got a nice house right here. You've got a really good place to put like one, maybe two, uh, you know, piece of equipment, stuff like that. Some more areas down here. Need to work on your vehicle. There you go. And then <laughs> more places to put stuff. This, it may just be a horse farm, but this is a really cool place to uh, to be. You can individually buy these as well. So your horse farm is going to be coming with 4344. If we make our way down here, this is going to be coming with 98, 101, and 94. Biogas plant comes with, uh, well, the biogas plant, I guess. If we make our way back over here, uh, your big farm is going to come with 78, 79, and 80. Back up to the top over here. That's going to be coming with that. Boom, 39 and 40, plus a small little placeable area right here at Alton Burn. So you've got all of this. And, and I, just, I just think it's amazing. I think this is one of the cooler maps that I've seen as far as small to mid-sized machinery but still still large enough to to play like a large map that kind of thing and check that outside out check that out it's real hard to get farming simulator to look good outside the map i gotta be honest with you it's real difficult but it doesn't look bad does it it does not look bad at all and guess what we're back at our main farm, just like that. The entire map kind of goes from the south end, starts low, and gets higher and higher and higher the further north you go. As far as cell points on this map, you're going to have 11 different cell points, two of which are going to be used for your primary crops. And then you have separate cell points for things. You know, like you've got your spinnery. You got three different places that take eggs, which is really cool. Um, eggs going at the co-op is really nice as well. Of course, you have your milk that's going to be taken at Ayrshire Dairy and Co-op as well. Co-op takes quite a few different things. Plus, you have your abandoned farm barn, the Altenburn farm barn. You have your biogas plant and your storage yard barn. All are going to be taking uh, your forage crops. That is neat. Uh, plus your uh, finest grain. That's going to be taking manure, which I think is neat. And then, of course, biogas takes all the stuff that you would be expecting it to take. 
I dig this, man. This is a cool map. I'll say it again. This is a really cool map. It plays well. Um, there's, uh, I know Simulation for the Nation has been playing on here quite a bit. Um, and it's a lot of fun to watch. It is really cool to finally be on this map uh, and to enjoy it. So I want to thank NM Modding very, very much so um, for a nice little look around. It was cool to show you guys the different farms. Now, of course, I didn't show off, you know, how to get from point A to point B and that kind of thing. But uh, as you can see, we've got fields everywhere. There's, there's so many fields. <laughs> like I said, 115 total. Yeah. You don't believe me? You sure? All right. There's 115 right there. <laughs> it's it's cool. And then there's number one, of course. What do you guys think? You gotta tell me down in the comment section below. Well, guys, at least for right now, that is going to be it for today from West Newton Farm by NM Modding. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel, join the Gohan fam, make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Again, if you guys want to check out NM Modding on Facebook, I will be leaving a link down in the description below. Go check him out. He's been updating regularly on this map, and I've got a funny feeling this is not the last time that you're going to see me on here. So stay tuned for that. With all being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace. Thank you.